welcome back ladies and gentlemen i know i tried to mimic joke but that was a stupid move so anyways let's start with the video welcome back everyone you are watching trouble pets and today we are going to do a video that we did that uh, on the first on the first time when we opened the channel the first video that was a pc build so today we are going to do some pc build under or around 30000 rupees starting off with the processor uh, the processor is amd ryzen 5 uh, this is 3400g uh, it has four cores and eight threads. It gives you the 3.7 gigahertz of base clock, whereas it can be overclocked up to 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, it's pre-locked because it's the G series. Uh, it gives you three MBs, uh, six MBs of cache, and it also has Radeon graphics, which is Radeon 11 integrated inside it. So that's pretty much it. It costs we. It will cost us around one uh, 12,500 rupees, which is pretty good. The next thing where the processor will fit the socket thing which is the motherboard MSI B450M Pro VDH Max is the Pro series. Uh, it supports Ryzen and Anthlon series but not all the Anthlon series let me tell you. It will only support the Anthlon series which are uh, which which has integrated Vega graphics. Now this thing gives us the DDR4 boost which is very amazing. It gives us to 30 3466 megahertz of boost uh, also it has m.2 supported inside it so definitely we are going to set up some m.2 in this i'll show it to you later uh, the m.2 speed will be up to 10 gbps uh, this thing will cost us around 6400 rupees next up the ram, the RAM is vengeance lpx uh, this ram is uh, included with the heat sink so it is very good uh, good for the high working or high-end tasks this thing is one one stick of eight gigabits and it's a ddr4 it gives you 3000 megahertz of processing power which is really really amazing but because of this it will cost us around 2980 rupees so that's pretty much uh expensive thing but still it's worth investing the next thing is wd green m.2 this is an SSD. Uh, it will directly be connected in the M to the uh, in the M.2 port of the motherboard. This thing is 120 GBs, and that's all. This will cost us uh, around 1850 rupees. So that's it. The next thing, Wi-Fi dongle, is the TP-Link 150 Mbps of Wi-Fi dongle, uh, TLWN725N. You can take whatever you want, but TP-Link is really good as the router we have is tp link so it will uh, coordinate go hand in hand well good so the tp link wi-fi adapter will cost us around 550 or 600 depends on which area you're taking up in the last thing but not least uh, the antec pa power supply it's the atom series with 550 volts of power supply it will definitely supply all these things uh, with a plenty and massive amount of power that's the entire thing that we have to show uh, it will cost us around 2200 rupees now speaking about the hdd we have it but we can't really show you because we don't have that uh, case for it uh, the hdd is of wd as well it's one tb of the hard disk and it's uh, 7200 and rpm it will cost us around 3000 rupees and the last thing is the cabinet now the cabinet is uh, you can take whatever cabinet you want but we went for antec nx200 it will cost us around 2300 that cabinet is pretty much expensive but it's worth investing if you see it in on the net we will provide the link for every single part in the description so that's all for today's video guys uh, i hope we helped you to get your dream pc or not as much as dream but that's all so Thank you very much guys for looking and clicking on this video. We'll see you in the next video. See ya later.